Hello Superherd and welcome back to LEGO Worlds and today we'll be continuing on by exploring more awesome stuff. Of course, we actually missed out the opportunity to explore some stuff that came out a while ago, some DLC that you can see I have downloaded. It should be mostly city related stuff, so if we take a look. Um, I know some things like the air pa airport passenger terminal, the service station, the police station, all should be a part of basically a city set that we'll try to throw down somewhere in a different world, and the fire station as well. And we'll go ahead and explore those, see what kind of awesome stuff we can find within, I'm sure, plenty of awesome stuff. So let's go ahead and find a new world. We gotta plop in these three golden bricks that we found throughout our adventure in the last two episodes. I suggest you go check them out. Um, I did not mean to take a picture with you. Instead, I am going to uh, hop into here and we're gonna find a brand new world. Probably do it on that flat farm landscape. If we can make some of that, I think that'd be really cool. So let's create a custom world. And we're gonna make it just a medium sized world. We don't need anything super crazy. And when it comes to the biome itself, like I said, I want it to be mostly a Merry Meadows because that's usually a lot of flat land. The chances of finding a city have been relatively high for me personally. So maybe we could find some really, really awesome stuff, just not this one because that's a really bad generation. I didn't wanna hop out, come on game. All right, I'll be back once I find a good world generation. Okay, so for whatever reason, it didn't just wanna make a Merry Meadows. It wanted to combine it with a Junk town for whatever reason. That's sort of also it's like the bad side of town for whatever reason. Um, okay. Well, the the city is this way, so I figured we'd combine it with a lot of city related things because that'd be the most fun thing to do. So let's go ahead and get a vehicle out here. Um which vehicle should we do? Let's do the uh, this motorcycle. It just looks like a lot of fun to drive. So we'll do this one. It'll probably fit in with the city landscape a little bit too, so that'll be nice and fun. Now when it comes to most things in this area. I think most things in this biome I have discovered, but in the end of the last episode, I was like, darn it, I don't have a campfire, and this is a bonfire, which I do have. I guess that's not what he wanted then. Okay, never mind. But I just gotta make sure there's anything I haven't discovered. I need to discover it, because I'm trying to get as close as I can to, you know, full completion of this game, because I think that's always fun, because if we ever do want to do, like, more building episodes or anything like that, we just have the opportunity to, because we have all the things. Okay, so we're at the city, and there's not too much I want to do at the city specifically, more than a, um, wait. I just also wanna make sure I have these characters. Yes, I do. They're all running around all wild and stuff, having a good time. Um, but my main goal is just to, oh, that's a new one. Build it on top of it, build with it. So if we pull up, you know, what we showcased earlier today, and also let's go ahead and change our costume. We wore this costume in the last episode, and I actually purchased all the costumes, so now I shouldn't have to worry about that. We'll go ahead as probably a town person, if we can, or somebody who looks like they'd be fit in the town. Maybe we should do a police officer. That's cool. That fits well. We're protector of the people. Uh, let's go here, and let's start figuring some of this out. Once again, you can see what is downloaded and what is not by the top right, but the first thing is the police station, and since I'm a police officer, that fits really well. Um, so I don't really know how close I can put this. If I maybe, oof. It's really hard to tell if this is gonna be good or not. But right here, hopefully this won't overlap anything. Um, it might a little bit, we'll have to see. Ah, I don't know, it might be working out. Okay, that's not too bad, it's a little bit on a slope, but if we ever wanted to fix that, that's not unfixable. What does this person want? I don't know, that's a weird thing they want a picture of. I don't even know what she's asking for there. Okay, there's a bit of a, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, did I just build a second one? I might have just built a second one. Oh no. Oh, no, 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 is there an undo button? There's not an undo button, is there? Um. Well, we might just wanna build another one somewhere else then because it's just gonna be weirdly combined. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Everything went so well, and then I messed it up. So I'm gonna build another one. And then I'll be back once this one's properly built. Okay, well, it's now uh, properly built. Whoa, look at all this awesome stuff. This is what I wanted to find originally. <laughs> now that's just two, it's a double ducker police station just Plot there. So, interesting, interesting. So first off, we have ourselves some kind of vehicle. This is a crook's truck. Oh, I guess I uh, confiscated it. It is now a police property. There's also a whole bunch of little things like these. Wow, everything is glowing right now. We're gonna have to make sure we find as much of it as possible. Man, tons of stuff, this is gonna be awesome. Because remember, there is several of these kind of things. We have a fire station, we had some other stuff too that I can't quite remember right now, but we will find out by the end of today's episode, so that'll be fine. Oh man, I think that when I was a young wee little zebra, I did actually have some kind of Lego set that involved police station, and I remember these little uh, garage shutters. Yeah, that's what they're called. 
And that just, it fascinated me so much how they had those. Cause they were just like little pieces of plastic, but they were able to like go up and down like an actual garage. And I thought that was really cool. Hmm. So is this one different than the ones up there? It is not. Uh, okay, I'll discover these ones though. All right, I'm discovering a lots of and lots and lots of small stuff that I can also discover once I get closer to. Hey, it disappeared. Well, I'm glad I discovered that because it ceased to exist. All right, let me hop. Oh no, I can just open that up. <laughs> Maybe because I'm a police officer, I'm not really sure why that opened. But hello, you. You are some kind of officer. Oh shucks, I've picked a spade instead of my trusty truncheon. If you come across one, would you care to trade with me? I actually think I have one. Yep, here you go. Here's your truncheon. Awesome. So there we go. So this guy is some kind of police officer with a cool helmet. Awesome, awesome stuff. So let's go ahead and check you out. You are a police officer ATV. Whoa, where's there an ATV? Let's discover that. There's a little door over here. I like these little doors, they're cute. There's, there's also some flowers around here that I don't think are supposed to be here. Uh, Let's remove the barley. Can I open this then? Is there like a button to open this? Yes, you can just open it up. That is so cool. And then we can go ahead, storm through the town and bust some Bad doers, some there do wells. Uh, we got a, oh, that is so cool. The police motorcycle, the police motorbike, and then another police station car. Okay, what about this ladder? Can we take this? No, we can't, okay. That looks like it's just brick by brick built. Interesting stuff. So we're not quite done though. We can actually go through the store, go inside, and see what's in. I just love how you can thoroughly adventure things like this. There is a little uh, height chart, I guess that is. Uh, I didn't need to buy that, but I did. Uh, what is this right here? This is a little chair. <laughs> Hello, and you are, you are not a normal police officer. You are like a canine unit. Okay, we only have a skeleton crew on right now, but if we had a couple of dogs to help uh, guard the cells, it would be a big help. All right, then I should have that kind of dog. Where do you want them? Because I need to find where the green box is, because you don't just want them plopped next to you. You want them in a specific spot. Where that spot is, I'm actually not entirely sure right now. Um, it doesn't seem to be signified by any way. Maybe it's up here. Uh, open this up. Oh, there's a helicopter up here too. Okay, where does she want them? Oh, um, well I guess around here is fine then. Um, if it's green like this, this means I can put it here. So let's go ahead, get the dogs, which should be somewhere in, I definitely have those dogs. Here they are. So we got a dog, yeah, they're just called dogs. So there's one, no wait, place, place, place. There we go, so that worked. That person's very excited. Um, so I need to uh, clear out this area though so that this person can get to me, so I'm sorry dogs. Oh, no, you can just me meld through walls, great. Oh no, they can just go through this, okay, cool. Where'd she go though? Because I need to find her again. Oh, I don't know where she went. Oh, that's bad, because I need to get her. In. I mean, I could always place in another one or visit the other police station and maybe I'd be able to find her additionally. Um, but as long as we eventually bump into her, but this is, a, uh, some kind of helicopter. It is a police helicopter I'm going to, no, I wanted the helicopter, silly. Uh, there you go. This is, there's a police helicopter? It, man, this is a weird art thing. Okay, there you go. But it looks like police helicopter something something. You get the idea. Where did that officer go? Because I wanted to discover her. She seemed really cool with her, her glasses, her sh cool shades. Too cool for school. Oh, there she is. Um, So can I discover you really quick? Are you busy? You want something. Uh, first discover you. Who are you? You are the police officer's sunglasses. And then what do you want now? We only have a skeleton. I know, I just did this, so I'm not really too interested in doing it again. Uh, what is up here? I think it's just a fire escape, so there's nothing must see, but there is a little sign here. So I can discover the door, then maybe I could discover the sign on top of it. I can. Not too much going on up here that I haven't already found, but the little computer. No, I already found the computer. Okay. This is really cool though. I'm enjoying myself quite a lot, but there is, oh, a water cooler. Gotta get the water cooler. You never know when I'm gonna make a nice office setting. Probably never, but I cannot be prepared for that to be the case. Oh, and we can go in here. This is a jail cell. So this is a crook. Uh, let's talk to you. Psst, think you can lend me a spanner? I've got banks to break. I mean, things to fix. <laughs> okay, well, here's your thing. So we're in the jail cell with this guy. We are the worst police officer of all time. So let's go ahead and discover you if I can. Just like, not that. I wanna discover you, dude. Where are you? Discover, hey, you get back here. There you go. So he is a crook, and since crooks are no good, and obviously wants to break into banks, let's get him out of here. <laughs> so this bed, I can't actually find. It looks like the bed's actually just made brick by brick, though. So that's not too surprising. Um, So we can't do too much here. 
Uh, well, not more than what we've already done. But there is a door this way, and this should lead me up here. And the one is up here. And whoa, whoa, my character's sort of freaking out and just kept going when I wasn't moving the joystick. Uh, there's actually nothing really going on too much here. It seems to be just some kind of control center, which is cool. We've got a satellite. I'll discover that. And I think that's just about it for the police station. A lot of stuff in such a small area. I really, really appreciate that. Then what about this, oh, this police sign. That's gonna be something we wanna discover, boom. And then, those, okay. So, that's about everything. Tons of vehicles to find there, really, really good. Another bad guy, who I already have. So, I think that's it for the police station, but we are not quite done. We got plenty more to find. Do I have this apple tree? I just need to make sure I hate him. Okay, so discoveries. Let's go back to our builds over here. And, and we've done the police station, which was nice and fun, but now we have the airport passenger terminal. So the terminal, that would mean this is where people, I guess, hang out not only when they're about to board a plane, but when they've just gotten off of one, this is where they'll go by, you know, they'll hang out, get an overpriced drink. <laughs> That's usually what ends up happening. And there's already tons of stuff to find here. We have ourselves a, one of these revolving doors, which is actually really cool. Trash can. Maybe I'll do all this smaller discovering later, I'm not really sure. Right now, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Uh, not too many vehicles around here that I'm immediately seeing, because this isn't the airport itself, this is just a terminal. So maybe we won't even find anything like that. Um, hmm. We find some, <laughs> some telephones that you can pay some money with to call somebody. Oh wow, and then this is where, oh I see, this is where they put the, see this is where they would put the plane and then they would run up the, uh, what's it called, the, the cargo, or the bags, you know, the luggage. Then what's up here? Hmm, oh, I'm, I don't wanna fall off. Oh, look at this, so this is like a big statue. I wanna call it a statue, I guess, but it's a big place where you can see out and watch the planes. Oh, cause there's actually not too much going on in this one. Like this one's a really nice build, but when it comes to like the insides of it, there's actually not too much to really adventure through. What is this right here? This is probably a big old sign or something. Uh, yep, it just says airport. Interesting, so maybe there is an airport somewhere around here that we can bind with it? Cause I would really like to have like an airport style plane cause I don't think we have one. Like if I uh, quickly, uh, can I discover that really quick? Yes I can, <laughs> the telephone booth. All right then. Yeah, that one's not super crazy. But then we have the runway section, which I think that we've, yeah, just recently gotten this as well. We could, you know, attach the runway section. I don't think that comes with anything. I think it's literally just a runway section. That seems to be the case. This lady wants a saxophone. I'm not really too, there is an undo button. It was right there. I just <laughs> didn't realize it. Oh, a little too late for that now, isn't it? We got some runway lights. We'll go ahead and discover those. Nothing really else to discover here. Which is funny because we've already had an airport building episode before they made all this, and I didn't do a very good job at making a runway. It was very off-center. So, <laughs> I wish this was around because I could have just placed this down and called it a day. Uh, Stone Tower Ruin. This is all from Nexo Nights. Uh, and some of the stuff we showed off. Oh, look at this, the service gas station. I missed this sort of last time. I wanna go ahead and put it somewhere else because we are taking up too much space over here. If I zoom out a lot, you can see that this thing takes up a lot of space. Like this this gas station is like bigger than the police station. Well, I guess big business thrives. Uh, Wow, this is a lot, but there must be a ton of cool vehicles here, right? Because this is what like my favorite kind of Lego sets are these sort of everyday stuff. This is a weird thing to have at a gas station, but this is a Crooks bulldozer. Guess there really is a lot of action happening, but this is Octon. I'll discover that. I don't know if I'm ever gonna need it, but oh look at this, this is like a car wash. I could take some of these cars, maybe I could become the crook and then give it a give them a free wash and then give their car back. What if they're with the crooks for good? You know, there's some crooks that actually do things that are good. Like they steal cars, wash them, and then mysteriously return them to the owner. That'd be interesting. Uh, I don't think we live in that kind of world. Maybe the Lego people do though. So let's check out this thing. Is it counted as a vehicle? Um, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, so I guess I can't ride this. But we can go inside the gas station. Is there gonna be any kind of employee? Doesn't look like it. But it's still a nice little area. You gotta register in 1583, what are you buying? I don't know, maybe one of those expensive water bottles that just tastes like tap water. Uh, yeah, there's not too much going on here. I was actually expecting more vehicles. But it's still like, aesthetically, this is a really cool thing. I think it actually works really well with this town. 
Hmm, we'll, we'll discover whatever we can, either it be a simple little door, is this a newspaper thing? It is. Uh, there's a little trash bin back here. I definitely wanna run our car through the car wash, if it can. You know, the car wash, the car wash, yeah. And can I find too much more of this stuff? I don't know why you can't discover this stuff when it's clearly something. Hmm, let's get, oh, okay. Let's get rid of that, the corn husk. I can't believe I didn't have a corn husk. All right, that's about everything, unless I haven't discovered the uh, the actual gas station things. No, I have. They're called petrol pumps. Okay, and then a bush. <laughs> that is an interesting gas station. Let me find somebody's car really quick. I wanna take your car, I might return it to you. I'm not really sure, and I don't think you'll take it back, to be honest, but. The car wash, the car wash, yeah. Oh. Oh, that didn't quite work, did it? Well, they're turning, actually. If you zoom in the camera, it does start, like, turning around, but it doesn't do too much. Obviously, it's still a nice little thing. Uh, the only thing we didn't discover is this door, apparently. Again, there's a gas station. We're having quite the town that really does beef up the towns to make them seem a little bit, like, more, well, beefy. So let's check out this thing right here. This now is the fire station, and I really, really will be disappointed if there's no fire truck here, because, you know, a fire station without a fire truck, really, what is it? You know, that's like so exciting. I love fire trucks, they're super cool. Uh, But I don't see any. I mean, of course, everything's still building. I think actually the vehicles are the last things to pop up, so we should hold our breath. Mmm, <gasps> please let there be a fire truck, I'll be so disappointed. Uh, discover, even if we can find some Fire people, though. Look at this. Okay, so this is um a fire and fire woman. Uh, I've only gone and lost my axe. Uh, if you've got one, would you part with it for for some stuff? Sure. Here is an axe. There we go. So we'll discover you. No, come back, come back, come back. <laughs> don't leave me. So yeah, you are a. I think you're just a fire woman, right? Firefighter. I don't know why I think they're firemen and fire woman. It's not like police. It's firefighter. So this is firefighter Mac um, with a mask. Not Max. His name was not Max. Hey, maybe it's Max. Can I talk to you or what? It's not letting me talk to her. Talk to him, I think, actually. Um, well, he wants a, he actually wants a Dalmatian dog. And it said, he just said that there was one in the area. And so there's gonna be a Dalmatian dog in here? That's actually a really cool discovery. The pig's excited. Don't know why the pig's excited. Oh, I was so hoping I'd open this up and there'd be a fire truck waiting for me. It keeps on telling me there's a mission I completed. I don't know, I think I glitched a little bit. Oh, at least there's something. There's some kind of vehicle here. This is a, like a firefighting car? Fire station car, interesting. I mean, once again, it's way better than nothing. <gasps> oh, here it is, the fire truck, awesome. We're gonna ride that around, definitely. That is so cool. Okay, it just decided to, I guess, surprise me. It wanted to make me sad before it made me really happy. So one thing I'm noticing about these builds is that these ones don't have the studs in them that the other ones have had that we've been checking out in previous episodes, like the space ones and the, whoa, is there even a helicopter? That is so cool. But, um, whoa, uh, this is like a hatch. Interesting. Where are these pooches at? They said that there was a Dalmatian somewhere and I gotta find him. He's gonna be around. Uh. But yeah, usually in the other builds so far that we have found, there would be tons of studs, just like a chest with like hundreds of thousands of studs, like in the dino ones and in the uh, space ones, not here as much, so that's weird. This isn't supposed to be here, <laughs> I don't think. Oh, uh, we can discover this door. Where's the officer, this is still the officer, and I can't talk to him for some reason, that's really weirding me out. I mean, it seems as though like his quest has already started if it's highlighting this area, and and it was saying for a second that there was one Dalmatian dog. I mean, we should probably get 101 out here. I don't, oh, I've only, okay. Uh, I didn't even see you there. Uh, Well, that's a bit of a scare. I'm just gonna do that for some easy travel here. You keep hearing that sound that goes off. That's like the, the quest completed sound. So I don't have an ax because I gave my one. Oh, here you are. Hey there, buddy. Fire station dog. What do I need to do for you? I can ride you. But where am I gonna get another one? Oh, I can't ride you through the door, you don't really fit. Hmm. Where am I gonna get another fire station dog? I feel like this area is being a little bit glitching. Maybe I should spawn in another one. Cause if things aren't working, then maybe I just need to get another fire station dog from spawning in another fire station. And then, I'll be good. So let's go ahead and spawn in another one over here. Just like that. 
And one way or another, I'm gonna get this figured out. But I'm so glad we got the fire truck. I was about to be so disappointed with that, but I don't have to, Bane. So right now, let's discover this. It's just a little hot dog stand. Very cool. Now we haven't gone to the top. At the top, there is a helicopter we should check out. Are you a chef? What are you? You're just a town woman. Okay. Town women just have random appearance, or the town people do. Okay, so if we go in here, we should be able to find another Dalmatian somewhere. Uh, before he was outside for whatever reason. But I think that was just, oh, here we go. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Um, well, I did give you, it's just sort of glitching out right now. That's really weird. Okay, puppy, you are so adorable. Oh, I love him so much. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my gosh, and this stuff, once again, this this whole um, setup, you can download this from the main menu of the game. It's totally free, but you just have to go to the main menu of the game. I've shown it off plenty of times, so make sure you're watching the entire series if you haven't already. And this is a little slidey pole. I should be able to slide up and down this, right? Or maybe just down it. All right then, so this guy right here we need to talk to if we can, or maybe we should just go back to the other one. Can I, can I slide up this? Not quite, oh wait, okay, so I can slide down it though. Usually you find those inside the building, but uh, you know what, whatever works. So, the guy who's looking for a dog. I just need to go up here into this green area, and we need to find this beautiful pooch and spawn in a bunch of them. So where is he gonna be? He's gonna be up here, he's 2,500, that is not much at all. So there we go, he is so happy with us. We're gonna go down there, and he's just gonna give you a bunch of studs, which is totally fine, I'm gonna discover him. So he's going to be the uh, the firefighter mask, so we can unlock him as well. Awesome, awesome stuff, we are finding plenty of great stuff. So before we go ahead, and I think finish today's episode off by riding around that fire truck, we need to go ahead and discover this right here. This is a helicopter. It is a fire helicopter. And then we have already done that. So, very, very cool. Maybe we should check out some of the new vehicles we've got in today's episode, starting with the fire truck. Hopefully this thing has a lot of features. That would be really cool. Um, Of course, we could turn on that. We can hop in the air. Is there any way? Uh, It says there's an attack button, but that attack button doesn't seem to do much. Of course, we can reverse. I was hoping we could press the attack button that would sport out water. That doesn't seem to be the case, but it's still so cool. Beep, beep. There's, there we go. <laughs> that is so cool. That's really cool. So if we hold the button, it turns on the siren, and if we tap it, it'll do the big hung. Nobody moves out of our way, but it's still super duper cool. Awesome, awesome stuff. So let's check out some of our other vehicles then. If we uh, go like this, uh, okay, there are lots of them, but we have the hand truck, so this is a vehicle. So we unlock this from the gas station, and I can just push this around like this. I got places to be, what is it? It's a little safe, I think. I can't move. Um, no, I'm, I'm not pressing the right button. <laughs> I feel like, oh wait, it's a little safe. I can turn around and bring it to the ATM over there. Just like I'm doing my job, a little bit of Lego role play. I mean, that's usually what you do with the games, you know, you just, not the games, but the, uh, the actual Legos, you just play with them. Uh, we'll discover that. Sure, because I haven't. The game's getting a little laggy. Maybe I've been doing a little too much. So we also have the police motorbike. This thing looks awesome. This thing has to be fast, right? Oh, ho, 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 it is. Oh, I love that, the, the revving up the engine. Vroom, vroom. Uh, and this one also has a, uh, and it also has a little horn. I don't like the horn too much. It seems, it's a little silly, but that's fine. Uh, we have the police station helicopter. And we'll put that next to the, uh, Fire station helicopter, what's the, what is that building over here? I've never seen that building. We're gonna check that one out. Maybe it's just a building that spawned in the wrong spot? That's really weird looking. Oh, these guys aren't <laughs> driving properly. We got helicopters in the road, you gotta move. So, we can compare these two helicopters, you can see that they are a bit different, so that's pretty cool. You definitely wanna get everything, because you know it just gives you a good choice. We also have Crook's truck, Crook's bulldozer, the police station car, and, like, I mean, I, I know most of you guys have already seen this stuff when we looked over it, so I don't wanna pull out every single thing. I was curious about this, because I've never really seen this in real life. A fire station car? Um, so it does have this. It doesn't have any kind of like, see, that's the thing, when I was driving the fire truck around, it had like a, a specific um, attack button thing, but this one doesn't. Anyways, before we finish off, what is going on with this building? Why is this just here? I've never seen this building that's chilling out here before. I think I've seen this building before. But never just chilling out in the middle of a farmland. Hmm. And it doesn't seem to be housing anything specific. 
Of course, I can go into first person mode. That might make this a little bit easier. It's a nice house. Maybe I'll call it my own. But I think that's where we'll finish things off for today's episode of LEGO Worlds. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoyed today's episode. And as more DLC comes out, we'll do more stuff. There is a bulldozer on the top of that house. <laughs> have we discovered that bulldozer? We have, it's a small digger. Okay, so with that being said, stay tuned because we have more stuff. There's way more DLC coming up and more LEGO stuff in general. Like I was saying throughout today's episode, there's some LEGO Dimension stuff. I have the Powerpuff Girls Un unboxing video coming up very soon, and then we'll check those guys out in LEGO Dimensions. Uh, LEGO Ninjago the game is coming out very soon, uh, sometime this month, and then to celebrate that, there's also going to be LEGO Ninjago DLC here in LEGO Worlds with a ton of other DLC. The Nintendo Switch version of LEGO Worlds is releasing very soon. I don't know if I'm gonna be getting a copy or not, but if I do, I'll be showing that off. I'll be showing off the LEGO World's Nintendo Switch port and see if it's any good and you guys can check that out. I'll also be showing off the Monsters DLC that's coming to this game. So there's just plenty of content with this game and plenty of other LEGO games next month. Uh, or no, is it November? Yes, November. So not next month, but the month after we have LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. So plenty of awesome LEGO stuff and other non-LEGO stuff coming to the channel soon. Stay tuned, but for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of LEGO Worlds. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Police so I know you've watched at the end and that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. If you enjoyed today's episode and you wanna see more like it, feel free to click on any of the videos on your screen right now or subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.